Hi everyone, it's Abby here from First Fruits and this week um, I'm introducing a new uh, The Saucy Spice Co uh, Spices range and um, today I'm at my home and I'm going to try one of these new recipes. Um, this one that I'm trying is the spinach and pumpkin curry um, and it comes in this little packet and inside um, you get the recipe. So I'm just going to follow the recipe. I'm not um, by any means a chef or a cook but um, it's a simple recipe and I'm going to give it a go and let's see how it turns out. So here I've got some uh, a little bit of peanut oil and um, the recipe says uh, half a bunch of English spinach but I'm just going to use uh, baby spinach and then I've got some crushed garlic and some uh, flaked almonds which I've just toasted in the um, the frying pan just without just dry toasted and um, so, some chopped coriander in there just for the um, for seasoning afterwards and um, two medium sliced onions and here I've got 800 grams of diced and peeled uh, butternut pumpkin and I've used organic pumpkin here and it's beautiful pumpkin and some cream so got everything ready let's get into it Okay, so here we go. First of all, we're going to just uh, pour some um, of this peanut oil into the pan and, and warm it up. And it's just about two tablespoons, so just enough to cover the bottom of the pan. I'm using a, a deep-sided uh, pan, um, and you also need one with a lid, so I'm using this pan today. You can also use a wok, so whichever works for you. Um, I don't have a wok with a lid, so I'm using my pot. <laughs> Okay, so that's um, warming up now. So then next thing we do is um, put the onions in and also the garlic. And they've just got to cook until they're um, just a little bit golden, just a little bit wilted and cooked. So it's looking nice and golden and, and softened up here with the garlic. So I think that's cooked enough for now. So next thing I have to do is add the contents of the sachet, which is um, actually hand hand crushed, like they've done all the, all of these by hand. So they're they're pretty cool. So add that in, and you've got to add that and um, stir it in until it's fragrant. So. Um, it says about 30 seconds. I can smell it now, but I guess you've got to just cook it a little bit longer. And just mix those in. They're cooked in now, so they're nice and fragrant. So next thing we have to add is the pumpkin. And, th and the cream, so 300 ml of cream. Give that a bit of a stir. Ooh, smells good. And a bit of salt. Oh, have a look at this. This looks awesome. I'm looking forward to this. So I'm just giving it a really good stir and just getting all of those spices really well mixed in with the cream. And um, once that's well mixed in, just got to uh, let it simmer for about 20 minutes with the lid on. So I'm just going to let this simmer and um, we'll come back to it in a minute. Okay, time to check uh, the, the pumpkin curry. It's been simmering now for, well, there goes some steam, 20 minutes. I have checked it a couple of times um, and it just said on the recipe to make check when the, um, the pumpkin's tender. So the pumpkin's tender. This has just been simmering away. I might turn it down a little bit. Now, it's time to add the spinach. <coughs> 
and just to probably don't need all of this but I'll just this is out of a 150 gram bag so I'll just add about half of it and cook it down and see how it goes so you just got to cook this until it's wilted dinner's ready the uh, the spinach is wilted so it's time to serve looking good okay wet I'm just going to serve this up with a bit of uh, steamed rice basmati rice so just got some rice that I just cooked up in my rice cooker I love rice cookers makes life easy for people like me when you've got busy lives and you're trying to do two things at once fantastic now oh yum look at that beautiful colors Be the fragrance is amazing I know you guys can't smell this but it's beautiful smelling I've just got a few of those toasted flaked almonds on top and some coriander dinner served so time to taste test let's see it's going to be a bit hot oh. Mmm, beautiful and the, the flaked almonds on top are just so crunchy and light and delicious. There you go, so easy to make and um, there's lots of different flavours as well. So um, check out the new range of the Saucy Spice Co. And um, there we go, if I can do it, you guys can do it. Okay, I'm going to go and enjoy my dinner. Have a great night, have a great week. See you soon. Bye.